majority of the people don't really understand the blues and they don't know the blues are the facts of life. And if you uh, look into just about all the songs involved in the blues, you'll find they're the facts of life, the facts of life of someone of the past or someone of the present or some of the things we hope for the future. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That ain't right. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That ain't right. Try it again. Try it again. Hey, 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 hey. The rhythm and the music of the blues is made only to get the attention of the people so that you can explain the story to them. I just want to tell you, I got a little idea of a little thing here I want you guys to do. It ain't nothing hard, but it's a thing right with an old book of beats. And I want you to get rid of what I got it in mind and why we can get it together. It goes where well, you, you just syncopating a number for 12 bars. Just a little, one little syncopate for the whole 12 bars with the three bar changes. Like, bam, bap, bam, bap, a da, da. So I've uh, been involved in the blues ever since a kid, and I've done just about everything in the field. Composed, arranged, wrote, lived the blues, and preached the blues, and tried to make other people understand what the blues mean to them. You know, all right, now listen, let's start it from the top. Look at the G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, my father, he was a type of fella. He wasn't devoted to Christianity as my mother was. My mother was kind of devoted to Christianity, and she felt like anything that uh, we sung that wasn't a spiritual song was considered as real, and that's what they called them. But my father, he sung some of everything, and he made his own songs just as I do today. In fact, he makes songs about the facts that exist around there at that particular time. Every morning, when we didn't have food to eat, why, uh, he'd have to go hunting to some time for us to get a meal. And when minute we had a shotgun go off, we knew it was meat on the table. And, uh, well, when people would make songs out of these kind of things, why, other people would feel like, well, that don't mean nothing to them, but it meant so much to us. Because if the dog didn't jump a rabbit in the morning, we didn't have nothing to eat. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. That's me. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah. Well, my mother always wrote poetry, and so I figured that, you know, the things your parents do, most of the time you do them yourself. And I had the belief that if I wrote a lot of these poems and things, I would get a chance to sell them. And I had books of poems that I never got a chance to sell. And then my mother came up with the idea maybe we could make some songs out of them. Yeah! Brother Montgomery is the fellow that influenced me about music ever since I was a kid. In fact, far back as I can remember, I can remember running behind little brother playing the piano on a flatbed truck because they used to advertise a lot of dances where he would be playing. 